Hi everyone, it's Sandy and today I am very excited to talk about my Diversity Bingo TBR. Diversity Bingo was created by a bunch of people. There is a bingo sheet with 36 different prompts which motivates you to read more diversely throughout the year of 2017. I have decided to participate and I will be telling you guys what books I plan on reading. Honestly, I don't know the synopsis of most of these books because I've selected them for certain prompts, I just know what makes them diverse. But I will try to give like a very short synopsis for the ones that I do know. If you want to learn more about diversity, bingo I will leave a bunch of links in the description box below and I will also leave a bunch of resources where I got recommendations from all of the books that I picked out are books that I've seen in the diversity bingo 2017 hashtag on Twitter but people make mistakes I make mistakes so if you know that a book that I'm talking about doesn't fit the prompt then please let me know in the comments and also recommend me a book that would fit that category so let's get started for romance with a trans main character I'm going to be reading if I was your girl by Meredith Russo this book follows a transgender girl who transfers to a new school and and she struggles throughout the entire book about whether or not to keep the fact that she's transgender from the people that she meets. For non-binary main character, I'm going to be reading Symptoms of Being Human by Jeff Garvin and I've already heard a lot of great things about this book from people who have read it and it follows a gender fluid teenager. For sci-fi and fantasy with a disabled main character, I'm going to be reading On the Edge of Gone by Corinne Duvis. This is an own voices book and it's a near future thriller and it has an autistic main character. For practicing Jewish main character, I'm going to be reading Everything is Illuminated by John Jonathan Safran Foer. For Indian main character, I'm going to be reading When Dimple Meets Rishi by Sandhya Menon. This is a YA romantic comedy. I know that there's also an arranged marriage. This book actually won't be coming out until May 30, 2017. For displaced main character, which means someone who is forced to leave their home because of danger, I'm going to be reading Under a Painted Sky by Stacey Lee. This is a historical fiction book following a Chinese American main character. For main character with an underrepresented body, I'm going to be reading The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Abertali. This book is actually coming out on April 11th, 2017. The protagonist is also Jewish and it has queer and person of color representation. For neurodiverse main character, I'm going to be reading The List of Cages by Robin Rowe. I've heard fantastic things about this book from Emma, aka Emma Books, and I know that one of the characters has ADHD. I'm not completely sure if it's own voices, so I will have to check about that. The next prompt is a retelling with the LGBTQIA plus main character. The book I pick is Ash by Melinda Lowe. This is an own voices Cinderella retelling with a bisexual main character and a female and female romance. For bisexual main character that is also own voices, I'm choosing Queens of Geek by Jen Wild. One main character is a woman of color and bisexual and there's a female and female romance. And there's also another character on the autism spectrum and I'm pretty sure this book takes place at a convention which is super cool. This book actually comes out on March 14, 2017. The next prompt is a main character with an invisible disability and I'm choosing History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. At the point that I'm filming this video I've already read that book and it's fantastic. Our main character is gay and his invisible disability is that he has OCD and its own voices. Next is a main character with an anaphylactic allergy. I also have two books that I may possibly pick. The first one is The Title Zone by Sarah Moss. I've heard that this book follows the dad's point of view but his daughter is the one with the allergy so technically she's not like the main character. But another book that I found that fits this prompt is My Year of Epic Rock by Andrea Pyros. The author of this book has a child with an anaphylactic allergy and our main character in this book has a peanut allergy. Next is a main character of color in sci-fi and fantasy and the book that I pick is The Star Touch Queen by Roshni Chakshi. I don't know much about this book other than the fact that it's based on Indian folklore and mythology. Next is Own Voices Latin X main character. I chose Labyrinth Lost by Zareda Cordova. In this book our main character is a powerful witch but she hates magic magic so she performs this powerful spell to get rid of her magic but it ends up backfiring and she ends up getting rid of her entire family and I also know that our main character is bisexual. Next is a free choice so I can choose any diverse book and I'm choosing Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Abertali. This book follows Simon who's not openly gay and he's been emailing with this person named Blue and then he has this classmate who somehow finds out about this emailing and he threatens Simon about it. That's all I know. I've heard wonderful things about it and I'm surprised that I haven't picked this book up yet. The next category is a non-western real world setting. The next category is Simply Own Voices and I've chose Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. All I know is that this book follows a Chinese American family and one of the daughters in this family has been found dead in the lake. 
This is a book that I'm super excited for and I cannot wait to read it. The next prompt is a main character with chronic pain and I've chose Far From You by Tess Sharp. This is a murder mystery slash crime thriller and our main character is bisexual and it also explores drug addiction, trauma, and grief and it is also own voices. For a West Asian setting, I've chose If You Could Be Mine by Sarah Farazan. This is an own voices YA contemporary book that takes place in Iran. Our main character is in love with her best friend and they have been in a secret relationship. The relationship involves two females but it is also dangerous to be in this relationship because where she lives, she can either be imprisoned, beaten, or even executed. The next prompt is an Arab main character, and I've had a really hard time trying to find a book that I was interested for this category, and I chose Miss Marvel. I forgot who the author is, but I know that it's a graphic novel. I remember someone mentioned this book in the Twitter hashtag, but I can't seem to find that original tweet that I saw it from, so now I'm just unsure whether or not the book fits this category. So please let me know whether or not this book fits the category, for main character with a wheelchair, I chose Push Girl by Chelsea Hill. Next is a book by an author of color and I've chose Falling Into Place by Amy Zhang. The author was born in China and this book follows a girl who attempts to commit suicide. She's now in the hospital and there are flashbacks and I'm assuming that it shows the events that led up to why she tried to commit suicide. Next is biracial main character that is own voices and I've chose The Girl is Everywhere by Heidi Halig. This is a YA fantasy adventure book following a main character who is biracial, she's half white and half Chinese. Next is pansexual main character and it has to be own voices and the book that I found is Seven Ways We Lie by Riley Redgate. This book follows seven people and there's also a scandal going around about a teacher-student affair. Next is a black main character that is own voices and I've chose The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This book comes out February 28th, I believe. This book follows Star who witnesses one of her friends being shot and this book is inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement. For main character on the A spectrum that is own voices, I chose Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire. I know that there is a diverse cast of characters, there are people of color, there's even a transgender character and I'm very excited to read this book. The next prompt is an LGBTQIA plus main character of color and I've chose everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. Our main character is biracial and she's also a lesbian. Next is a visually impaired main character and I also have a few other options for this category. The first one is Run by Cody Keplinger. I know that this book is Own Voices. The next book is Blind Spot by Laura Ellen. This is also Own Voices but it is also a contemporary mystery book. And the last book in this category is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. This book takes place during World War II. Our main character is blind but it is not Own Voices. Even if I don't choose this book for this category, I do want to read it in 2017. The next category is a book set in Central America and I've chose The Weight of All Things by Sandra Benitez and this book takes place in El Salvador and our main character has witnessed his mother being shot and dragged away and he is trying to find her. The next prompt is a contemporary world arranged marriage and I chose Written in the Stars by Aisha Saeed. For indigenous main character that is own voices, I've chose The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. For diverse nonfiction, I have two books. The first one is Is Everyone Hanging Out with Without Me by Mindy Kaling, and the second one is In the Country We Love by Diane Guerrero. For a person of color on the cover, I've chose Always and Forever, Lara Jean by Jenny Han. This is the third and final book in To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I'm not exactly sure when this book is coming out. I believe it's sometime in May. The next prompt is a deaf slash hard of hearing main character, and I also have several books in this category. The first one is You're Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner, and this book actually won't be coming out until March 7th. Next is Whisper by Chrissy Keegan. And the third one is A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Bernard. I'm not so sure about this one. I know that the main character has selective mutism and that the love interest is the one who's deaf, but I'm not sure if like the love interest is like a main character. The next prompt is an immigrant or refugee main character and I've chose Something in Between by Melissa De La Cruz. And this book basically follows our main character Jasmine who receives a full ride scholarship but she learns that her family actually doesn't have a green card so she cannot accept this scholarship. And the last category is a hijabi main character that is only voices and I've chose I am Alala. Those are all the books that I hope to read in 2017. If you are participating in Diversity Bingo, please let me know your TBR in the comments below. And again, I would like to emphasize that if any of the books that I mentioned don't fit the category, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!